In this video, I will show you how you can export VFX from Unity in order to use it in Editor later. The first thing you will come across in Unity Project is a written tutorial that helps you how you can prepare a VFX for export. Firstly, you need to have your particle effect or VFX that you want to export in the hierarchy panel on the left. It is crucial to have it exactly centered in the scene, so you have X, Y, Z in the upper right corner all set to zero. In case the effect consists of multiple parts, then all parts should be set to zero, zero, zero. Secondly, create a new object. Right click, then create empty. You name it the way you want to see it in editor. You set this new object to 0, 0, 0, so completely centered. Then you add the new component called Box Collider 2D. In the middle, you see a light green square, the help of which you can grasp VFX in editor. So it should more or less contain your VFX, but it should be at least comfortably sized so you can click on it in editor. Then drag your VFX on the left on this empty object we have just made. This way VFX will go one layer below. You have no other task than to make a prefab. We recommend you create a new folder within the assets folder on the bottom where we will put the exported VFXs. You just simply drag the object on the left with our VFX inside it and drop it in the folder. As a result, you will have your VFX in the folder as a prefab identified by a blue square icon next to its name. Go up to the Asset Bundles tab. If you don't have it there, then on top of the window, you go to the Windows button and click on Asset Bundle Browser. Then you can fix it anywhere. Drag this recently made VFX prefab into the configure segment from below. VFX has just appeared in the configure segment, so rename it with a right click and then write dot unity after the name and press enter. Go to build. First option here is build target where standalone windows is selected currently. It means that if you build now, then the VFX will only run on Windows. If you want to build for a Mac, then select Standalone OS X Universal. Provide a folder where you want to build VFXs. It doesn't matter where. Clear folders must be selected. This completely wipes the current folder every time you build and builds everything from scratch then you can go to build. This would take one to two minutes. Once the loading screen disappears, your project is complete. Once build is complete, we can open the VFX we want from the given folder in editor. After clicking on it, you can see a white square on VFX, which is the same as the light green box collider that you set up in Unity.